workers can answer them by email. All of that in the classroom? Inside the classroom. Without leaving the room? Without leaving the room. That's wonderful. Yes. Don't you think somebody might cheat? No cheating? No at all. No at all. How can you prevent cheating? Well, because each one has his own iPad and he can work on it, which is the Chromebook. Uh, yes. So he cannot cheat from the others and put it in his iPad. So it's different. It is. It's kind of a little bit restrict. It is. As an owner of, of a, a private school in the state of Kuwait, for the record, your school is Kuwait English School. Yes, it is. And this is, uh, what, what is it? Kindergarten, elementary, it's or what? It's from KG up to A-level students. A? A-level. A-level. Which is that the British system, the students do graduate in year 11, but we do have year 12, 13, which is the upper seniors. They when, so when they join the universities, when they have the certificates of year 12 and 13, uh -huh. they will credit the subjects that they have taken in the school. And that was established in the university. Back, back in 1978? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Let's go back to the e-education. Okay. Because people here, they kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of tricky when you go online and pursue your higher education or probably your education in the state of Kuwait or maybe in the United States. You might have somebody else doing the homeworks for you. You might have somebody else uh, answering the test questions test while you are doing something else. Mm -hmm. How do you prove that the, pe the person online is the person who enrolled in your school? Each teacher has a ledger from the students inside the classroom and we do have some testing that they can follow each three months. The teacher has to do those testing to know the level of the student. Mm. So if you pa any student will pass the uh, homework to the teacher through the Chromebooks, she will know or he will know that if this work was by the student or not. Uh, how? From the level, because from she's the doing level yes, because she's doing testing each and every three months for the students inside the classroom. Uh -huh. Yes. So it's a, it's it's not an easy thing to cheat on. No, I don't think so. Never. No, mm. I don't think so. You don't. No. Have you caught anybody cheating, like mm. impersonating somebody else, not mm. the same person? No. Never. No, we didn't. And if you did catch them, what exactly did the punishment for the he or she? Well, usually there are the school policy, for, uh, school policy for you know restricting the students if any doing uh, any you know something, and uh, the teacher will know what's the punishment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are maybe sacked, uh, not sacked, sorry, expelled. Expelled. Uh huh. But this is a major thing to be expelled from school for a week uh -huh. or three days, or to have a detention as a punishment to the student. Well, I hate that. This is on a Saturday. I hate that. To come to school, to do some homework, and to have the uh, this detention. This is said that always a pleasure to have you Thank here. You Promise so us much. to come back again. Talk Inshallah. about the same thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, unfortunately, this is all what we have right here at to the point at KTV Two. We would love to, from you, to join us once again next Wednesday, same time at 8 o'clock, with another subject. Today's subject was about education. Next week is going to be a surprise, so be there, and good night.